Eyewitness Weather Forecast. Name Weather Rate's most accurate forecast since 2008. Another day, another round of rain moving through the region. You can see on radar right now that a lot of us got pretty wet this morning as some heavy rain moved through parts of Susquehanna Valley and the northern tier as well. I'm going to zoom in and show you specifically Center County. You can see again some of that heavy stuff coming down over State College, Center Hall, Milesburg, and right now because of that heavy rain, we do have a flash flood warning in place in Center County until 715. So not too much longer, but it's a warning, not a watch. So that means this is immediate. This is the time to get to higher ground. Stay away from creeks and streams. We're really looking at the potential of localized flooding in those small, again, creeks, streams, local. That's the big thing here. Now a little bit further around the region, you can see this big flash flood watch. This is in place until 10 o'clock tonight because we are still seeing scattered showers and storms move through the region today. Also, that humidity, it doesn't make for a very comfortable day outside. You can see in Dallas it's 71, but it feels like 76 once you throw the humidity in there. That is a pretty warm start to the morning, and it's sticky too, and unfortunately, it's not really getting better as we move through the day. These are your dew point temperatures, and when they are this high, this is a tropical feel. A comfortable feel would be when temperatures are in the upper 40s, mid and low 50s, even pretty reasonable, but our dew point temperatures are in the upper 60s with some of us even seeing them in the low 70s. Again, that is tropical, my friends, so you're going to feel it when you go outside. What you're going to see is this right here. Again, you can see this band of rain continuing to move through the region. Some of it, like what we're seeing over Williamsport here at 9 o'clock, is a little bit heavier. Now, we're not seeing too much quite yet as ter in terms of storms, but it's that heavy rain that's really causing most of the problems throughout the day. We've had a lot of flooding around the region these past few days, and we're watching out for more as we move through the rest of today. Again, that flash flood watch in place until 10 o'clock tonight. Something to pay attention to. If you are heading out to the School County Fair, we're going to see highs right around 80. And again, scattered showers and storms, especially as you get into the afternoon. So make sure you have an umbrella with you. Highs around the region in the mid 70s to low 80s. But you throw that humidity in there, and it feels like it's about five degrees higher than what you're seeing here on the screen. So again, keep that in mind. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water. This weekend, though, we finally get a little bit of a break. The second half of Saturday, high pressure settles into the region, dries us out a little bit. Sunday, a little bit more of the same, but even drier, even more comfortable. And if you, like me, are planning your tea time for the weekend, make sure you plan it for either the second half of the day, Saturday, or any time on Sunday. This is just a quick look at Saturday for you again. So we start with those scattered showers and storms. High pressure settles in, and we start to slowly but surely dry out until we get to the afternoon. Then we really just look at a few lingering showers hours, but mostly staying dry. Let me recap, then I'll get you through the rest of the week. We are right around 80 for your highs. The cooler spots like the mountains in the mid 70s. We see those scattered showers and storms throughout the day. Overnight tonight, some lingering showers, a storm still in the mix. We're in the upper 60s and low 70s for your lows. And then we get through the rest of the week. Again, this weekend is finally going to be decent. It's going to be more manageable. So if you have stuff to do outside, do it second half of Saturday and the whole day Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we fall back into that pattern as more tropical moisture moves into the region. But Thursday, we finally get another break. By the way, download the Eyewitness Weather app. It is so convenient, especially when we have these scattered showers and storms. It's great to take it with you because it's that same situation where just like yesterday, you could be dry one second and boom, here comes a storm the next. So. It's always easier to have something like that in your back pocket. You know, at least on this seven day, we have two days where there's no torrential downpours. Hey, what we have Sunday two, and next Thursday. Two whole days, Chris. Yeah. Oh, that is just. Two is more than one. It is. Better. It is. It more is than one. Yeah, which is it's nice. It's better than That's zero. And <laughs> you yesterday we only times. had one. Yes. Yes. You. I mean, Christina is shallow. Amazing at golf. <laughs> I'm Thanks, trying yeah, to learn. Really. Last weekend I went to Lehman Golf Club. <laughs> I was not very good at all. So maybe maybe this weekend on Sunday I can maybe hit the golf course. I believe and Kelly is underselling herself here. No, we went out no, to I'm play not. her first time and she was awesome. She was. That's what I've heard. You're yeah. Great. You're, you're, you're great at fibbing, Christina. Really, I'm truly. <laughs> great at golf and great at fibbing, apparently, according to Kelly. No, yeah. not, not good at all, but <laughs> learning. It's a process. It takes a long time, but uh, at least a couple of days if you're interested in golfing to get exactly. out on the course. We all have this to go weekend. at some point. Yeah, yeah a, lot a little of good morning crew outing. It'd be sure. good. All right, Christina.